now friends the first part of my discussion i quickly run through that uh, part a concept of the balance score card how you should remember this is the point i would like to mention what i am trying to say is we are moving in a traditional method only focused on shareholders return on investment only was the issue completely the business was driven from the perspective of the shareholders owners let us call it as owners post liberalization post liberalization and globalization as i told you mr manmohan singh very clearly said so far we are following a path and there which has no light till date so we are trying to move into the path followed by china and south korea and all now i gave you an explanation that today when do we stand mahindra and mahindra announced within 2 days 18000 crores worth of business was done which shows that this is a free market world cars my automotive fellows are competing but indian company has become so big so sort of so therefore you have to be exposed in a business environment you have to be exposed to the uh, toughest competition and you come out successfully if you don't have any opportunity you are always under protectionism when will you grow then as a result of this uh, the new concept of stakeholders substituting for the shareholders stakeholders is a larger dimension where you need to satisfy everybody where you need to satisfy anybody everybody and uh, the point is we are trying to understand the new methodologies you are a businessman you are the analyst financial analyst like junjunwala or anybody your question is whether it is what is the business enterprise is given to you any enterprise then you are trying to find out what are the success factors that is called as critical success factors what makes this environment work suppose for example you are given congress party for revival whether the party will revive or not yes the party will revive provided the critical success factors have to be analyzed the second question is will the bjp continue to be in this game yes if they continue like this or they may fall if the uh, opposition starts building up themselves anything can happen but you have to continuously monitor these things you understand there is no permanence in business friends because the competitor is waiting to finish you off so you should continuously excel you have to continuously excel and you should know whether you are really excelling in the right direction that is why the new techniques are being introduced and uh, so once i decide the cre- cre- critical success factors then we are coming to the performance measures to monitor the attainment again these critical success factors and then you have to understand what changes you have to bring in into your organizational processes and systems in order to facilitate the improvement of the performance against the key successful factors critical successful factors there is a continuous game it is no way one professor is to tell me vital sir business teaching is like this shiva yesterday i danced well does not mean you can sit uh, today another set of audience have come to see you dance and then you must excel better than yesterday that is my position that is the position of teachers that's the position of you you cannot say i worked very hard you have to you have to perform you have to excel this game now friends as you know the 
you know that the environmental changes are taking place the marketing market is moving to a different platforms you should recognize not only you should recognize you should anticipate the top businessman if you take geo and all they are anticipating the next 50 years how will the business going to be and you want to be number one continuously for that how to equip yourself that is the game in which we are all in this balance scorecard case studies before i come we will understand so many more yardsticks have come which i going to help you to explain you and the first one is you are going to look at the business you see finally as i explained you in balance scorecard one rule i am telling you today the company is very profitable but then there are a lot of problems quality of ambassador car the quality of the product is not good there is no innovation the workers are not taken proper care and uh, there is no they are no match to the competition once the uh, competition is opened up ambassador car closed down fiat car closed down you understand so they never applied that concept of balance score card because they never needed it but today it is not possible no no longer possible because the winds of changes are blowing and that's how in the same country where you had ambassador car you also have mahindra car you see the difference that one could not withstand a small competition whereas this one could withstand the world competition that is the difference you have to understand now in this balance score card we are trying to look it from the financial perspective financial perspective is looking from the shareholders angle what are these things in a business enterprise survive succeed and prosper you understand the business has to survive you have to be there in the game then you have to succeed if you are in the game even if failures are there you may continue to cover them up you will succeed and then grow prosper prosper under these categories you are supposed to measure so survive means you should have cash flow i have to survive every month i should get money cash flow assured cash flow that i should be able to meet the salaries of my staff expenses the maintenance of this administration myself if i am worried about it then what growth i can have therefore cash flow becomes important then succeed success is measured in terms of opportunities you are getting sales growth and then operating income that is generated because of the extended growth of sales prosper you are capturing the market share and you are able to generate a handsome return on equity these all the points are very very important friends that is called as financial perspective this is the ultimate result ultimately why are you doing business end result is this only but then to get this in a sustained manner profit maximization wealth maximization and value maximization so profit maximization is a new is a old concept narrow angle short term you need profits otherwise how can you survive but you take care of the interest of the stakeholders employees customers government society <coughs> environment then you can grow like tatas that is the revenue growth operating income revenue from new products gross margins cost reduction and economic value added and return of investments all these points will be the measures that will give you an idea you catch my point <coughs> yes so i don't know what is happening okay now we are moving to the next level uh, this is customers perspective next point is the customers perspective what is this customers perspective friends the customers perspective is uh, measured in terms of one minute uh, i'll just uh, <clears throat> okay 
the customer's perspective is uh, new products. That's the goals we are talking about. That new goals and uh, goals will be new products. Percentage of sales from new products. Percentage of sales from proprietary products, old products. Your core competence products. Responsive to supply. Preferred supplier. <coughs> customer partnership. You are trying to see the bonding between you and the customers. How strong is this? And then we are coming to the internal business perspectives. The technology capability. Manufacturing excellence. That cycle time, unit cost yield, design productivity and new product introduce, introduction. And finally the innovation and learning perspective. Technology leadership, manufacturing learning, product focus, time, time to market. Once you decide on the new product, within how much time you are able to bring it to the market. That is a point has to be checked. So, these are all the things uh, you would have been discussed and therefore I would like to concentrate on the case studies. Case studies. Let us take this uh, case study friends. So, <clears throat> all of you, this is balance scorecard, case study 12. Balance scorecard, we are going to case study 12. Now with this background, how are we going to apply our subject to the this thing? Can I start? Okay. Now I am starting with this. Uh, so far any questions you would like to raise, I would like to hear from you. <coughs> Dear friends, what is that sum and substance of what already discussed is only I have taken and I am going to take up the case study. Today, <coughs> I want to, I heard a speech of Mr. M. K. Stalin. wonderful speech as a leader he has given. See today what is happening you know entire opposition has fallen and uh, survival of the opposition is very difficult. So things may be going in, in a different direction. At this juncture you need a leadership in the opposition. India needs both ruling stable party and also stable opposition then only democracy will survive and he gave a beautiful lecture he said this is a policy driven unity we need in the opposition policy policy driven means under all circumstances you will stay will stand if it is opportunity driven for elections that may come and the alliance may go and uh, we would like to analyze that leader how he reacts in a difficult situations different types of leaders so balance scorecard all of you ready <coughs> case study 12 can i proceed all of you ready fair limited manufactures and sells motor vehicles in india and different parts of the world the company has its head office in New Delhi and three regional offices. Manufacturing plants are situated in Pune and Bhuvaneshwar. The company has over 10,000 employees who are paid fixed salary and performance related pay PRP. <coughs> First paragraph. Now the focus is going on PRP. The PRP is determined using the financial performance as a measure. The performance of departments which are profit centers is based upon the revenues and profits the departments generate. 
the performance cost centers is based upon the cost savings against the budget so this point you should underline prp is the focus performance related pay so when a worker rows he will get more money if i does like this so how we will react that is the entire crux of the subject prp is determined using financial performance as a measure the performance of department which are profit centers what do you mean by profit center when you are manager of a, there are three types of divisions cost center profit center and investment center profit center cost center profit center and investment center in a cost center approach the manager is accountable only to control the cost from there only responsibility accounting has developed but in a investment center the manager is told you do everything to maximize the revenues minimize the cost and get me this return on investment which will be compared against the yardstick and if you are going to achieve more i'll give you so much percentage as profit okay so if you take i give you a hotel <coughs> to run i will tell you broadly you have to run only the hotel uh, with comprising of only um, the vegetarian like idlis idlis uh, afternoon lunch and night uh, dinner i'll give you broad then i'll tell you you have to perform now question is you want to expand to another place you have to do another thing that i will not give you investment center means that i give you money and you do this business and get me profits but in a profit center it is not like that right okay right the performance cost centers is based upon the cost savings against the budget i'll just give you uh, for 3 minutes break friends i have spoken too long and therefore uh, i might need some time just uh, i may take up to 8:30 friends